Morning everybody. Just Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Got a package in the mail. I bought with Amazon store credit. Um, anytime I do a product review on Amazon or show anything that I bought on Amazon, I put the links to Amazon and then of course I get some commission if you buy something for yourself on Amazon and you're shopping anyway, I get a little bit of a uh, bonus so that helps us out so one way you guys can help us is if you're shopping on Amazon anyway go ahead and click on one of our links and then go and shop on Amazon and we get a little bit of commission so I use that money to improve our lives to buy our groceries or necessities and improve things here um, car parts when I fix the car I use Amazon money for that so Anytime you guys click on one of our links to, from any product we've done on Amazon, that'll help a lot. And uh, I'm going to start putting together a page. Amazon now has a page where you can put all the stuff you've ever reviewed on one page. It's, a, it's an Amazon storefront, so to say. And I'm going to start putting that together. Um, my tactical channel will have its own storefront and then my uh, normal do-it-yourself world stuff. So this here I've purchased entirely with Amazon store credit and it's heavy. I've got, oh wow, it came early. Oh, good, good, good. This is good news. Okay, so we can finish our project today. This is a heavy little thing. This is a Cure Sine Wave inverter. And the reason for this is because it is hopefully 24 volts, yes, it's 24 volts at 120 volt, 24 to 124, blah, DC 24 volt to 120 volt AC power inverter at 60 hertz with a pure sine wave output. So, we are going to convert to 24 volts power here today. Um, this comes with a remote control power button which is good and a two foot connection connecting wire which is useless to me for this project but I'll use it for something else in my electronics lab for sure and then very heavy if weight means quality then hopefully this is pretty good quality here we have the 24 volt inverter uh, we got here some little things. I'm not sure what those are, but I'll have to look that up. And here we've got the manual. And um, it's got a thousand watts continuous and two thousand watt surge power. And it's Gandel, Gandel. I don't know how you say it. Really, it's Gandel or Gandel, whatever. Uh, pure sine wave. I read the reviews, and it looked to be pretty good. So we're going to hook this up today. Now one thing cool about this is it has a, um, it's got the remote control button and an on off button on it. And it's also got a USB port so I can charge things outside right off my battery box. Like if I'm working on the camera and I need to top it off, I don't have to come in the house to do it, which is very convenient. And then it's got the um, 24 volt. DC inputs and a grounding plug. I'm going to ground my stuff from now on properly if I can find my grounding rod. I purchased a proper grounding rod for the solar panels and um, it has walked away so I'm not sure where it is but when I find it I will ground my solar panels. So there we go there's that guys and the links for Amazon will be in the um, video description and I'll put it in the comments as well. Because every, every product I do review or use, I put the Amazon links. And then I got something else very useful. Just came in the mail. This was scheduled to arrive uh, Tuesday. Today is Monday. And um, something else this I purchased myself as well for uh, this project. I'm going to arrive a day early, which I'm thankful for. This is a... Um, Tobson, T-O-B-S-U-N, 120 watt DC to DC converter. So it switches 24 volts DC over to 12 volts DC. 
So now, to increase efficiencies, I'm going to run the DC wires from the battery box to the off-grid tiny house right here in the wall. And then I'm going to convert it here at my little converter box here, my power box I should say. I'm going to convert it to 12 volts power for use inside. So today I should have um, 24 volts at the battery bank and 24 volts coming into the tiny house up to my, my box here and then 24 or 12 volts converted over. So it's 120 watts, it should run anything I need for all my small devices. We charge cameras, flashlights, uh, cell phones and small things like that, lamps on the cigarette lighter outlet. So that's all I need for now. When we want to use the vacuum cleaner I'm going to have to get a bigger adapter but for now I can get away with not, not using that specific 12 volt vacuum cleaner in the house. Um, as long as it's, well, as long as it's under 120 watts, I guess I can. So there we have it. Everything we need to switch to 24 volt power today. Now, one of the advantages, and I know you guys have been ranting at me for years about this and really telling me to do it. One of the advantages of switching, or some of the advantages, going from the solar panels to the charge controller, less loss in the line. I don't need as thick a wire. When I convert to 24 volts, I need less wires in between all the batteries to connect. Instead of 12 volts connecting all four 6 volts in series, I'm going to have two, um, instead of, yeah, I'm going to have, instead of having four 6 volt, or four 12 volt batteries, so two 6s connected to be a 12, and then I have four 12 volt batteries currently. I'm going to connect them as 24 volts, so it'll be four 6 volt batteries making one 24 volt bank and then another one, so I'll have two 24 volt batteries. Um, fewer wires connecting everything together um, and I'll have less resistance, less loss in the wires based on the fact that there's less um, resistance seen to the higher voltage then running 24 volts from the battery box to the house I'm going to have less loss in those thinner wires which is even better again and another bonus my TriStar my Morningstar TriStar charge controller can handle only 800 watts at 12 volts DC uh, with a 12 volt battery bank when I switch to 24 volt battery bank I can handle 1600 watts of solar panels on that same charge controller Therefore, I will be able to run every solar panel I have out here combined on the same single charge controller, which gives me the energy to use out in the electronics lab to expand that system later. Or, oh, I can set, take it up here, and if I come up with the cash, I have somebody offering me some eight Trojan T105s, but I've got to come up with the gas money to get out there, and it's going to be a 14-hour drive one way, so... I'm saving up for that and then I'm gonna and him and I are gonna do some things that are beneficial for one another so um, we're gonna work that out later and um, anyway so then I'll have the second charge controller for that battery bank which will also be 24 volts so um, there's a lot of advantages to going 24 I know it I know you guys have preached to me for all these years I, I never argued about the advantages it was just the expense of it but I've been saving up my Amazon store credit and I purchased the things I need finally so now I'm doing it today so let's we'll see you out there guys as soon as it stops raining we'll get this done well, I've got all the covers off and I started disconnecting I took off all the solar panels and the wires from both charge controllers I unplugged the inverter I am disconnecting the TriStar um, the, well I've got the solar out and I've got the Renogy solar power disconnected and it's meter. Now I've got to get into the wiring here in a minute but lunch is almost ready so I'm gonna to have to go and we'll take off all these wires after lunch and then reconfigure these as 24 volt batteries. According to the weather report the rain is done for the day. I think they goofed severely I had to throw a tarp over this because I had it all ripped apart and it's raining. The weather said the rain was done. Clearing up and it's supposed to be sunny right now. That doesn't look sunny to me. 
Uh, now I got no power and it's raining on my work. Tools out, camera out, water dripping on my box, running through the middle. Not cool. There's a pause in the rain. I quickly threw on a tarp and made a pond. I hope it is not seeping through. I'm going to see if I can get this wired uh, before it rains again. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We've had thunderstorms all day. Uh, the weather app said it wasn't raining.